Welcome to Hamer Reviews, my name is Christopher Hamer and today we're talking about the lens pen. Now, what is this? I hear you cry. It's actually a really clever little cleaning device um, that you can use to keep your lenses, filters, and indeed things like screens on cameras or other electronic equipment very clean, very quickly, uh, whilst you're on the go. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm quite prone to smudges and things on lenses and having a quick way of cleaning them is really useful. Now, I will sometimes carry around microfiber cloths, but you can't always have them with you depending on how much sort of how big your bag is or how much other equipment you have. So something like this little lens pen is actually really useful. Now I've sent these by the um, PR team for them, but actually I've had these for years. Um, I've bought many of them. And I have here the original lens pen, which is the old version of the one you see here. I've also got the uh, old DigiClear, and this is more designed for cleaning screens and things. And then I have this mini lens pen, uh, the Lens Pen Mini Pro 2 um, as well. Now, the reason why I thought I'd make a little video about this is actually for £11.95, which is how much the new original lens pen costs, they're really, really useful. And you don't really see mini accessories get talked about a lot, but for me, it's something I kind of have always had in my bag to a certain extent. Not that much recently. I feel like COVID kind of maybe rearranged my bag and maybe the spaces where I put this kind of stuff got uh, swapped for things like hand sanitizer. But now as we sort of return to some sort of level of normal, they're really, really useful to have. The new ones um, haven't changed hugely in design, but they've made some nice changes. First off, they're a bit smaller. Now, smaller design is good because it means it takes up less space in your bag. The next thing I really like is the caps on these actually now have a screw top. Um, one of the things I didn't like on the original was that they actually have a cap that can just pull off and sometimes that comes off in your bag. Now, the reason why I've said I've bought quite a few over the years is if you get a lot of grime on the tip or a lot of sand or you know grit, stuff that could potentially damage your lens, you do not want to have um, that lid come off because it, you know using it on your lens is going to damage it. In the back of them, you have a brush. Now the brush is really important um, and that is because you use the brush to clear away larger pieces of debris like the grit and someone I talked about uh, before you clean the lens. So let's go through that process so you know what on earth I'm talking about. I have here my Nikon Z 14 to 30 millimeter wide angle. So if you were going to use a lens pen, you're out on the go, first have a look at the lens, double check that it doesn't have huge amounts of sand on it, because if not, you may want to um, perhaps go for a slightly different cleaning procedure. Um, but you'd start off by brushing it. This is usually how it goes, so I stroke down a few times and then round. Try and get as much out, then give it a um, quick once over. Make sure you don't have any you know, stones, anything that could potentially damage the lens on it. Then taking the cap off, you simply run the lens pen. I usually go in circular motion to the outside around the lens and you're left with a perfectly clear um, lens which is smudgeless and ready to go. Now, they use a, a carbon-based cleaner on these. Never quite understood what it is, to be honest, but it doesn't need any moisture or liquid to work. You can breathe on the lens if it's particularly smudged and you're not getting it clear without it, but you shouldn't need to. Um, and it says that you can use them up to 500 times. I probably use mine quite a bit more, to be honest. So super, super handy and useful. The other lens pen we have here is the Filter Clear. Now the Filter Clear, as I throw these around, I couldn't initially notice the difference. That was the same price at 11.95, but actually what seems to be is the actual tip itself has less of a concave curve to it. Now you want the concave curve on lenses because lenses usually are rounded. So it will naturally follow the, the um, lens if it's concave, whereas on a filter, because they're all flat, or at least the ones I've seen, you're going to want a more flat structure, and that is what this uh, filter clear is. So if you use a lot of filters, you're probably going to want to go for the filter clear. If you use mostly lenses without filters like I do, you're probably going to want the original lens pen. That being said, there's no reason why you can't use the original lens pen on a filter or the filter clear on a lens. There's no real issue. The other thing that they're super handy for, and actually that's the main reason I keep this one around. I don't necessarily carry it around, but the small tipped version, which they do still sell a version of, is fantastic for cleaning the little electronic viewfinder um, glass. I find that does get a lot of dust in and is very hard to clean. Using one of these, very easy, very effective. Um, do it every month or two and you'll keep your actual EVF perfectly clean and really easy to see through. So really, really recommend that. Again, mini brush on the back, go over that first, then use the tip, very, very useful. So there you have it. These are the, the little lens pens. 
I really like them. I do think they have a place in people's bags. And let's be honest, there aren't many photography accessories these days that are actually useful that you can get for um, less than 20 quid. And actually this one is one of the ones that I recommend. So even though I received these two free, um, I very much have bought all of these and like, I couldn't dig out anymore, but I'm pretty sure I've got <laughs> more elsewhere um, over the years. And you know, I have used them a lot in the past. So I do recommend them. And these two are definitely gonna end up back in my bag. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, if you have any questions about lens pens, uh, do send me a, a note or put a comment below and I will give you the best answer I can. Equally, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe because it really does help me out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.